Welcome to episode 2 of Warzone Explained. First off, Ramadan Kareem to all my brothers and sisters celebrating across the world. And for those of you who don't have the privilege of spending it with your family like I do, trust me, you're better off without them. My family, I love you. This is just jokes. Don't pull my leg for the rest of my life for this. Thank you. If you're new here, I'm doing a series of quick videos breaking down the ins and outs of Warzone for everyone that's new to the game. So if you enjoy what you see in this channel and it makes sense to you, go check my channel for more videos like this one. Okay, so today we're talking contracts. Think of contracts as side missions in the game, which if completed successfully will earn you cash. You can use this cash at buy stations to purchase things like the UAV, which will give you the location of enemy players near you on the minimap. But more on the buy station and everything you can get from it in the coming episodes. Let's begin with my most favorite chocolate of them all, the bounty. I mean, my most favorite contract of them all. You see, being from Kerala, it's almost atheist-like for us to not like anything that has coconut in it. As well, the stereotypical North Indians are currently like, Ha, ye to ye bilkul sahi bola, ha, jabardas, bilkul sahi, wow, what wow, ye, he's speaking the facts. Bhogasadi ke chal. If you're not Indian, I apologize for confusing you with this banter disguised as communal crossfire. Pun intended. You know, because crossfire, because Call of Duty is... No? Okay, back to the point. When you pick up a bounty contract, it gives you the general location of an enemy player, which is great because you'd rather know where somebody is over not knowing where anybody is. Now that you have their location, all you gotta do is go find them and kill them, within the time limit of course. Kinda like this. Targets are up! Waypoint marked. Marvelous. The next contract is the scavenger. The scavenger is a great way to pick up loot and make money at the same time because it gives you the location of three supply crates back to back. The supply crates contain not only loot such as guns and ammunitions, but they also contain money. And by the time you finish looting all three supply crates, you get even more money. And at this point, we might as well just start calling you money bag yo singing. Money, 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 money. Bitches, bitches, bitches. Money, money, Hey man. What? Bro, it's Ramadan, innit? Two minutes ago you were talking about Ramadan and Kareem, now you're singing about money and bitches. First of all... <laughs> Next, we have the recon contract, which I never really liked because of its risk factor. Once you pick up a recon contract, you have to travel to a marked location and stand within a small radius till the task is complete. It's risky because it shoots up a flare which can be spotted by enemy players nearby. I shit you not, while I was trying to get a demo of me doing a recon contract, this is what happened. Recon intel secured. Job well done. Another way to be spotted by enemy players is by spending too much time at a buy station, which brings us to our next contract, the supply run. Your objective once you pick up a supply run contract is to travel to a marked buy station. Once the objective is achieved, you get to buy stuff for really cheap or even free. If you're playing with a team, however, you can even redeploy your fallen teammates for free. Free, free, free. The second to last contract is the most wanted contract, which as the name suggests, turns you into a target that can be spotted on the minimap by every other player in the game. The objective is to stay alive for the given amount of time and not get taken out by the other players, which is a lot harder than you'd imagine. You've designated yourself as most wanted target. Stay frosty. <laughs> This brings us to the last and final contract, the contraband contract. Now I know what you're thinking and no, it's not what you think it is. Although now that I think about it, it very well could be because the developers of this game have got to be smoking some shit. This contract is rare and randomly appears after the completion of a regular contract. Basically what you have to do is pick up the contraband contract, go to an extraction point, 
call in a helicopter and deliver the contraband. I couldn't find a contraband contract to give you gameplay. So completing this contract will give you money like every other contract, but this one also gives you a weapon blueprint which you can access in your next game via your loadout drop, which is exactly what the next episode's about. Stay tuned to find out. This brings us to the end of this episode. Let me know if you've got any questions in the comment section below. Smash the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell as well if this video was of any help to you or if you just like looking at my face. Are you uncomfortable yet? Hmm? Okay, I'm sorry. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.